So guys, today we are going to be working on one of the sections that, strangely enough, is a big problem for many of you, but it's something that once it clicks right for you, you don't understand how you could not see it initially. All right. And pretty much for this topic, it's going to be relating around fractions, around decimals, and around percentages. And I need you guys to be able to see by the end of this that they're actually exactly the same thing, just in a different way. All right. So here is my PowerPoint. And over here, I've got a hundred square. So I want you to imagine that this hundred square doesn't represent the numbers from one to a hundred. It actually represents a whole. So let me just get the right color. So this whole block over here This represents one. And I'm taking this one and I'm breaking it up into a hundred parts, which means in essence, these are hundredths. All right. So how does a fraction, a decimal and a percentage relate to each other. Well, let's take, for example, a fraction. Let's take the most common, the simplest fraction of them all, a half. Well, how would I be able to represent this block broken into halves? Well, you would literally have to take the block and find where's the half point. Well, a half would be after 50, which means this part over here, this line here, breaks up my shape. So that is going to be a half, and that is going to be a half. And we can all see that. We can all see that, yes, indeed, I have a look at that. I agree. Cool. It's a half because I've taken my whole and I've broken it up into two pieces. What about the decimal? Well, the decimal is very easy to do once you have your percentage. And what is your percentage? Well, your percentage is how many do you have out of 100? Well, how big is each piece out of 100? Well, it's 50. Let me change my writing here. So it's 50%, being 50 out of 100. So that means that this fraction, I could actually write as 50 out of 100. But as a decimal, I'm very happy when my denominator is any power of 10, because I then just put it as 50 hundredths. Because remember, this is my tenths decimal place and my hundredths decimal place. And that's my decimal. And if you want to, you could write this as 0, 0,5, which is what you know, instead of 0, 0,50. It doesn't really matter. But this idea is going to become crucial. All right. What about, let's change color. Let's use green. All right. Let's take another fraction. Let's go a quarter. All right. So I need to break this whole into quarters. Now, we know generally that we can break it down there and we can break it across there. That's the, the very common way of seeing quarters. We have almost like quadrants, like your Cartesian plane. Now, we need to find out how many are in this over here. Well, 
we can sit and count and we go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So five by five is 25. But there's another way of thinking about this that would make this a little bit easier. A quarter is half of a half. And we know that a half was over there. So we need to now break this into a half. So we need a half of 50, which is 25. So therefore, this bit over there and this bit over there, we can now break this up into pieces. So one piece is 25, another piece is 25, which makes a 50, another piece is 25, which pushes to 75, and then the last piece goes down to 100. There you go. And then we put that across there, we draw up, and then we've got this bit over there. And this is four pieces, each of them of size 25. So therefore, what's my percentage? Well, each piece is 25 out of my 100, which makes it 25%. And I can write this as 25 out of 100, which means that my decimal is going to be 0, 0.25. Bam, there we go. What about if I look at a third? Well, this is slightly more complicated because a third doesn't go into a hundred very nicely, does it? So I can count a way to split this third. And we say, well, 33 is generally where you split it. All right. So if I split it at 33 there, and I include that, I then have to add on another 33, which gives me 66. There we go. So here's part one, here's part two. And then I add on another 33 and it takes me to 99, which is there and up to there. And this is part three. And we're almost there, but we're left with a problem. The problem is this guy right here that I've not split up yet. This hundred over here being this last block, I also need to split into three. So this one block, I need to split into three equal parts. Which means that I haven't actually split this exactly correctly yet. So let's redo this. So it's not actually 33 where I'm splitting it, it's actually 33 and a third blocks into each of my three equal pieces. There, there. Now, if I add 33 blocks onto this, I add 33 onto 33, I get 66. But I have the extra third, so it's 66 and a third. But I'm now adding my second third, which makes it 66 and two thirds. And now we can add 33 and a third on again, or you can say, well, what's left? Well, it's 10, it's 20, it's 30, one, two, three, and a third left, which means I've now split this exactly into three pieces, which is what my fraction has asked me to do. 
and therefore my percentage is going to be however many blocks are in each piece, 33 and a third percent, and as a decimal, 0, 0,33333. 3, 3, 3, 3, et cetera. All right. What about if I have a fraction? Let's do one where it's not one at the top. Let's do five eighths. All right. So we need to now break up a hundred into eight equal pieces. So I know that eight equal pieces is going to be 12 and a half. Because if I take 12 by itself and I multiply by eight, 10 times eight is 80. Eight times two is 16, which makes 96, not my hundred. So I'm, I've got four remaining and four is half of eight, which means that 12 and a half times eight is going to give me my hundred. So I go to 12 and a half there. Twelve and a half doubled gives me 25, which also is something that is good to remember that an eighth is a half of a quarter. Remember, a quarter was a half of a half. So we actually have the half over there at 50, halved to 25, and now halved again to 12 and a half. Another way of looking at it. So here the halfway between is 37 and a half. So we're looking for 12 and a half. So there is 10 up to here, plus one, plus one is two and a half. There is 10 up to here, 11, 12 and a half. There's a 10, there's a two and a half is 12 and a half. And the same can be done for the bottom here. So that is 12 and a half there, 12 and a half there, 12 and a half there. All right. So we've then got eight pieces. We've got one piece there, two there, three there, four there, five there, six there, seven there, and eight there. Great, eight pieces. Now we're looking for five of them. So we need to go one, two, three, four, five. Where does it end? Halfway after 62, which means it's 62 and a half percent. And we know that a half as a decimal already is 0.5. So you could write this as 62,5%. And as a decimal, you just move the decimal point two to the left, 0, 0,625. Done. All right, so let's try a sixth. So remember, a sixth is half of a third. So remember, we broke up the thirds into 33 and a third. And then 66 and two thirds. So we need to now break this up into a half. And how can we break this up into a half? Well, we've got 32, which is an even number, and 32 halved gives me 16. Okay. So then we need to halve the remaining bit. And the remaining bit is this one and the third. So if you halve the one, you get a half. 
And then if you halve this third, you get a sixth. So we then need to add all of these together because I've halved the rest of this, I've halved that block, and I've halved the sliver. So summing together, you get 16 plus a half plus a sixth. Well, this half is the equivalent of three sixths, and three sixths plus one sixth is four sixths, and four sixths simplifies down to two thirds. So this is actually 16 and two thirds. Which means here you're gonna have 16 and two thirds added on. So that's uh, up to 50. And then here you're going to have 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 2 thirds. So working backwards. All right, and then this is part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, and part six. And we are looking for one of them, which makes it 16 and two thirds percent. We know two thirds as a decimal as well, because that is 16 comma six, 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 six percent. Therefore, as a decimal, you move the place two back and you get zero comma one, six, 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 six,